Hello children, welcome to another lesson in science. Today we are looking at diversity of matter and then we'll look at materials, that's mixtures. So by the end of today's lesson, you should be able to explain how substances change state from liquid, solid and gas. By the end of today's lesson, you should be able to explain how substances change state between solid, liquid, and gas. Good. So we move on to our keywords, which will help us understand the lesson better. The first keyword we have is state. State. So state is a particular state. So state is a particular condition that something is in at a specific time. So state is a particular condition that something is in at a particular time. So when you find yourself or you do something at a particular or a specific time, then we can say that you are in that state of doing something. Good. Our second key word is substance. Substance. So a substance is a material or a mixture. A very important material or mixture. Anything that is used and has very essential importance. It's known as a substance. Good. So, in our previous lesson, we looked at the three states of matter. We looked at how the particles form the liquid state, how particles form the solid state, and then how the particles also form the gaseous state. We looked at the samples of liquid, solid, and then what? Gas. So, we have water, oil as liquid and then sand, stone, rock as solid. And then we look at the smoke or vapor, that is the steam, as an example of a gaseous substance. Good. So today we are moving on to a different level of states of matter. So matter can be changed from solid to liquid liquid to gas, gas to solid, and liquid to solid. Yes, so matter can be changed. As we said, they can change state or they can change their form from state to state. So in this case, a solid can change to liquid. A liquid can also change to gas. Gas can change to liquid and then liquid can also change to solid. So this is how they change their forms. So many substances can exist in different states when heated or cooled. So the state changes, they changes their form when heat is applied or it is what? Cooled. And then for example, we have water. Water can exist in all three states. So when the water is cooled, it becomes what solid and then when it's it, it's heated or it's left there for a while it turns back to what liquid and then when we boil the water the water evaporates and that brings up the what the steam or the vapor and that is the what the gas so water can be used in all three states of matter when water is heated, the particles vibrate faster and then the vapor comes out. And then the vapor can be condensed back to liquid. As I said, when you cover your, your saucepan, you realize that you have tiny or uh, little uh, particles of water on the what on the cover it's because of the what the vapor so when it cools down the vapor turns back to what water and then also when water is cooled 
or you freeze it, it forms what? Ice. So I have an example of ice with me. So we can see that it's even melting because I let it down for some time. But we can still see how hard it is. This is a sachet of water. It wasn't like this at first. So it was cooled and then it is now solid. Very good. So water, as I said, freezes into ice when cooled. So in this case, it is known as freezing. So freezing is the change of substance. The picture below shows how water can be changed from liquid state to the gaseous state. You should note that the heat is what causes the evaporation or the boiling of the liquid water. So the image, you can see the heat with the water boiling. So when it evaporates in this manner, the vapor or the steam comes out to have a gaseous state. So the activity, as I said, is known as evaporation or boiling, which uses heat. This activity changes substance from liquid to gas. So it changes from liquid to gas when heat is applied to it. Good. So we move on to the other form of change of state of matter and that is the what? The freezing. The freezing. So when water freezes into ice, so when water freezes, it turns into what? Ice. Good. As I showed you, so this was a sachet of water. It was liquid. I had to freeze it so that it becomes what? Solid. So freezing is a change of substances from liquid to solid. Without freezing, you can't change liquid to solid. So when the water is being heated or is left there for some time, it will start with melting and then we will have our liquid back. So water can be changed from liquid to solid and from solid to liquid. I hope that is clear. Good. So we can see the ice cubes on our screen. The ice cubes came about as a result of what? Freezing of water. Good. The freezing of water. Okay, let us look at another way of changing solid to liquid. This is a what? Candle. And it is what? Solid. It is firm and stable. When I apply heat to it, it will do what? Melt. It will melt. Now let us have an experiment right now. So I'm applying. Good. So I have applied heat to the candle. What do you see? Now the candle is what? Melting. The candle is melting and then it's melting into a liquid state. It is melting into a liquid state. And then when it melts and it is being cooled, we put it down for some time, it turns back into what? Solid. So this is solid to liquid and then from liquid to solid, just as the ice. So it will have to burn for some time and then we'll have a liquid substance. So that liquid substance will have to cool down to form another solid state. Okay children, so you can see the water coming out from the candle dropping. So that is the solid forming into a what? A liquid state. 
So the water that is coming, it's because of the what? The heat burning the solid. So the water comes out and when this water is being cooled for some time, we realize that it turns back to what? Solid. It turns back to solid. So as I said, that is a solid substance being changed to a liquid substance. And that liquid substance will be changed back into what? Solid. Very good. I hope that is clear. Okay, children. So what have we learned today? Today we looked at how substances change states from solid, liquid, and gas. So we said that matter exists in solid, liquid, and gas. All three states of matter can be changed from one state to another. And then matter can be changed from one state to another either by heating or cooling. So when you apply heat or you cool the substances, they change what states. So when substances change from one state to another, we say that it has undergone a change of state. And in this case, no new substance is formed. As I said, the sachet of, uh, the sachet of water, when it is what? Cooled, it turns to solid. It's the same water that turned to what? Solid and can also turn back to liquid. Good. I'll meet you on Zoom, children, so that we will discuss more on how substances change their states from liquid, solid, and gas. Be good, children, and stay safe. Bye-bye.